Bonjour, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to my NHL 22 franchise mode here in Montreal, Quebec, Canada, year number four post season. And we're here in round one against the 43, 33, and 6 Pittsburgh Penguins. But it's time to talk about the Montreal Canadiens regular season. If you want to look at the stats in depth, go to the end of the last episode. Thank you guys for subscribing. It's been a phenomenal start to the new year. Thank you guys so much for all the damn support. Now, Nick Suzuki and basically everybody on the team performed so much better than I thought. And I'm like, how is this not translating to record? We, if you look, uh, if you don't look at our record and just look at the stats at some of these players, you might be like, are we a 60 win team? I think we're going to do it in a couple of years time. It's only a matter of time with the amount of talent that we have here. And we just got another first round draft pick from the Buffalo Sabres next year. Things are looking up. We did add Dan Vladder and Joe Pavelski, who we did. We, we made that trade with the Pittsburgh Penguins earlier in this season. We didn't expect them to be a playoff team. And it, and it doesn't really bother me that Joe Pavelski is here and other assets are in Pittsburgh. And now we have to face Sid the kid who I, I think he's still playing. I'm assuming he's still on the Pittsburgh Penguins. I will show you the 2025. We're in 2025. Holy moly. Already. 2025 Stanley Cup playoff bracket. You got the Colorado Avalanche versus the Chicago Blackhawks, Winnipeg, Nashville, Vegas, Edmonton, and Anaheim versus Arizona in the East. Carolina, Columbus, New Jersey, Detroit. That'll be a fun series. Florida, Toronto, and obviously our series. If you go back to, I want to say it was the bubble playoffs in 2020, Montreal beat Pittsburgh in a five-game series to advance to the first round where they did lose to the Philadelphia Flyers. Let's get, let's, uh, I, I, let's not let them have their revenge. It's been a couple of years. Teams are different. We are very, we are very different. And I'm sure the Pittsburgh Penguins look uh, different as well. Do they? Let's see. Brock McGinn, oh my dear lo uh, uh, okay. Hold on. Okay, Sidney Crosby is going to be in the lineup. I'm going to assume, <laughs> right? I don't know why he's scratched. He must have got injured before. Did he? Hold on, let's check. Did he get injured before the end of the season? He might have. Yeah, he might have missed the last couple of games. Oh my, I was I was like, are we going to win this round? They don't have Sid, they don't have Sid the Kid. And they do. Tory Krug was also a trade deadline acquisition for them. Still a really good team. You add Sidney Crosby in there, it throws everything down a line. Uh, it's Tom Wilson on Pittsburgh is still really weird. You know, it just that doesn't feel right. Tyler Toffoli, we're gonna have to deal with him. That is unfortunate. I don't think we traded him to Pittsburgh originally. No, we sent him to Nashville. Right. It was him and Jeff Petrie, wasn't it? Something like that. Danton Heinen, Anthony Duclair. Uh, Victor Arvidsson, Colin Blackwell, Bryant Rust. Uh, then you got Simone Robertson on the... Oh, he's 66. I thought that was an 86 overall. Yeah, so he's not going to be in the lineup. Uh, Samuel Poulin. Defensively, that's not a bad defensive core. You don't need the greatest defensive core to get you through a round. It all depends on goaltending. Tristan Jari is their starting goaltender here in the... First round of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Obviously, Sidney Crosby is going to be playing. Man, if only he could have been injured. Do I have to change anything going in here? The guy we're going to have to roll with in the Stanley Cup playoffs is Caden Primo. Carey Price, he's almost done. He is a year or two away from retiring. This is a really good team. We had struggles, though. We, we were a team that could lose three or four in a row and then win seven. So I'm hoping with some of the acquisitions that we made throughout the year, Zach Sanford, Joe Pavelski, they can step up. I want Matthew Mitchkov, Cole Caulfield, and Nick Suzuki to do their thing. I need good performances from these kids on the defensive court. Caden Primo is the guy. Caden Gooley is out, unfortunately. Actually, I want to look at that again. Do I have to change it around? Are we going to be good enough? I know Caden's going to be back around the 24th. He won't be back for game one. Maybe not game two as well. Let's throw, uh, I mean, they'll get a plus three here. I know Nemec's been such a, he was our best defenseman all season long. He'll have to be a top four guy for us next year. 
I hope he's not, he's not upset about ice time, which is perfect. Let's head in to the 2025 Stanley Cup playoffs. We made it to the first, second round last year? Second round last year? When we lost against the Leafs, obviously. It's time. Let's freaking go, boys. It's time against the Pittsburgh Penguins. It's time to win another Stanley Cup, boys. Let's start off on the right foot. Pittsburgh, they're not like us. We have been here time and time again, but at the end of the day, Sidney Crosby, the best player of his generation, three-time Stanley Cup winner, multiple MVP winner. I'm, I'm pretty sure he's won multiple. Has he? I'm not sure. Nick Suzuki with the first goal of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Sidney Crosby is the X Factor. They don't have Evgeny Malkin anymore. They're not the, the Hydra that they used to be. You, you know, you cut one head off and they have, they gr it grows three more. You know, they're not that anymore. They're, they're on the way out. They're going to rebuild quite soon. Petra Leinonen with his first goal in the Stanley Cup playoffs. Cole Caulfield enters the party. It's 3 0 Montreal just before halfway through game one. Samuel Poulin's going to score on Caden Primo. He's not having a bad outing. I'd like for him to settle things down. Pittsburgh can easily come back here. <laughs> and I, I don't like that. <laughs> I don't want to yell too much, guys. Please. Please. Okay, killing off that power play. I think it will extend into the third period. Boys, shut it down. It's on you. Shut it down. Shut it down. Yes, keep it going, boys. 15 minutes left. I'd like to start off on the right foot here, and you're doing just that. Power play Montreal. Captain Brendan Gallagher. What a goal. Giving us the three-goal lead once again, and that will surely secure game one. And the Canadians will be up one in the first round against the Pittsburgh Penguins. Good stuff there. Nice, nice performance from everybody involved. Nick Suzuki, your first star. Caden Primo was great. Ryan O'Reilly, a quiet contributor there. I appreciate that. Let's head into game number two. Home ice before we head off to Pittsburgh. What's Pittsburgh's arena? PP&G? No. Yes. Yes? Maybe. I might be right. I might be wrong. <laughs> game two, let's go. <laughs> oh, I'd like for Caden Gooley to come back. He's important on that defensive core. Matthew Mitchkov, welcome to the postseason. Power play goal on the doorstep. Look at that. What a shot. Woo! Power play Pittsburgh. Okay, we kill it off. Ah, I just stuck my finger in my eye. Ah! Oh my god, I'm dead. I can't see. Ah! <laughs> I'm fine. I'll just, I'll just, I'll just, uh... I'll just look with one eye for the rest of the episode. Oh my God, I'm crying. <laughs> Not what I expected here. And there's the captain, Sid the Kid. Scores to even up this game. Pittsburgh power play, we kill it off. It is a tie game halfway through the game. I don't like this at all. You know how these affairs work. This is how this happens. Now, Montreal's been quite lucky with these sort of games in the last couple of years. Toronto, we ran into them, and we couldn't overcome those problems. Every other series, though, we've been able to win these 1-1 games. Montreal, you're down in shots. The momentum is on Pittsburgh's side. It's time to step up big here, boys. Power play Pittsburgh immediately. Who took that penalty, boys? Come, you can't be doing that. Another... Well, it's only a matter of time. Power play Montreal, that would be huge, and they kill it off. Ah, I don't like this at all. I can finally see again. God, oh my lord, I'm fine. <laughs> Two minutes left, and we're getting some overtime. Game two, with a pivotal game in the series already. Can we come up big here? Dumba skates it into the offensive zone for the Penguins. Radulov strips it off. He's going to send it over to Farrell. Farrell's going to get caught on the boards. That is a double team. Don't like that. To Foley. Uh, I, I don't like playing against a Foley, though. That, that, that does hurt my heart. McGinn cycling it to the point. Uh-oh. Uh Uh-oh. Oh, my God. Was that a save? A perfect play for the Penguins, but somehow the Montreal Canadiens have an opportunity here. Mavi Mitchkov. Oh my god, loses it. Holy moly. Sidney Crosby over to Brock McGinn. McGinn, he's going to hold it there at the point. Peterson, 
Oh, and he a massive hit. Oh my lord. Like, oh no. No, 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 no. Another big hit. Throwing massive bodies here. Mitchkov. Get it out. Get it out. Oh, Giroud. You have overtime goals in your blood. It's what you do. Peterson on the boards. Giroud around the net. He's going to lose it to Anthony Duclair. Duclair over to Dumba. Dumba over to Victor Arvidsson. Arvidsson gets it past the neutral zone. Into the offensive zone for the Penguins. Duclair gets stripped by Radulov. Radulov does get it back, though. No, he's going to lose it to... No! On the doorstep! Caden Primo will shut that down. Holy moly. Slow things down, boys. Slow it down. Slow it down there. Holy moly. Ryan O'Reilly, this is your job. You are a face-off glot. Be the man here. Win it. You lose it to an 82 overall. Really? Oh my god, that should have gone in. Oh, oh, I'm stressed. I'm st I want this win. Romanov gets it over to Giroud. Giroud, do some magic here. And that's gonna be offside. You know what? Time to go the third line. We're gonna do overload. And I want that. Yeah, Joshua Wah. Monday Night Wah. Let's see what he can do. Captain Brendan Gallagher there on the right wing. Okay. Joshua Wah has it. Over to Radulov. Nope. Romanov. There's too many R's. It's going to get caught there. Arvidsson. Going to skate it in. Doing some dipsy doodles. Holy moly. He's got the moves. Joshua Wah will get it back, though. Just, yep. Just, just dump it. Dump and chase. Good old Michelle, Michelle Terry in hockey. Oh, my. Back in the day. Those were terrible days. God. <laughs> Just me reminiscing about how terrible the Habs are. Hmm. Back in my day. Ryan Paling. We're going to keep this third line out here, and then I'm going to cycle back up to the first line. Just come on, keep possession here. Ryan Paling's going to lose the face off. Marino. Ah, nice pick off from Brendan Gallagher. Gallagher, just get it out. Get it out. Okay, we're going to dump. Okay, not fully down the ice. That was probably the worst d dump job I've ever seen in my entire life. Ooh, Rad oh, Romanov again with another great pick off there. Oh, Mitchkov. Mitchkov. Suzuki. Oh, he, he tried there. He, tr he tried to do something slick. Oh, he's going to get it back, though. Nick Suzuki. Oh, Tristan Jari with a fantastic save. Farrell. Suzuki. That's going to be so just coasting in front of the net. Oh, what a tense overtime here. Hino, massive hit into the boards. You wouldn't see you wouldn't see that in overtime. Holy moly. What a hit. What a in in real life, dude, there would be fights if somebody got chucked in the boards like that. Mitchkov, Farrell, try to get it out. We're getting hit. Oh! Oh my god, what a move! Oh, Farrell with a chance there. He oh, he tried. He tried. Give him A for effort. Krug, another great pickoff by the defenseman. This time in the neutral zone. Tyler DeFoley will cycle it back up to Sidney Crosby. Crosby doesn't get it on net. Tyler DeFoley. Oh, he's got room. He's got speed. He can't get it around. Caden Primo. Cole Caulfield, just get it out. Ryan O'Reilly, just get it out. Man, you're a two-way forward. Just get it out, please. Giroux. Giroux magic. Cole Caulfield, baby. Cole Cole, okay, he's a sneaky, oh, he's sneaky, oh, what a glove save, a glove save by Tristan Jari keeps this game alive, Cole Caulfield, oh my god, oh, what an overtime so far, throw it on net, every puck goes on net, Troy, Troy Krug, Tory Krug, I couldn't, I couldn't remember there, oh my god, the defenseman, I'll give it to them, they're playing their hearts out here in overtime, Cole Caulfield uh, tries to center it there, but Sidney Crosby is the guy to pick it off. A turnover. Pittsburgh Pedersen. And a save, Caden Primo once again. He's been solid here. Arvidsson over to Crosby. A backhand attempt. No! Caden, why are you giving it back to Sidney Crosby? That's the worst guy you could give it to. Peterson. Arvidsson again. Oh, just fight. Oh, no! Oh, there was no help on the doorstep. And Sidney Crosby will end this one in overtime. Ah, uh, there was no help. No help at all there. I wanna I wanna rewatch that though. Ah uh, God, such a fun overtime, man. Arvidsson, like, there's three guys converging on one guy. What are you doing? You leave Sidney Crosby wide open. 
Number 81, what are you doing? Oh, you're so young and you let Sidney Crosby harass you like that. Yeah, he gets the one attempt. Caden Primo st stood strong in this game. Just it. Yeah, he, he couldn't do much more. Sidney Crosby. Yeah, what a goal. Ah, man. Ah, that's unfortunate. Very unfortunate. The Penguins do even up this series. A very tight game there. They only won 2 1. Caden Primo with an excellent performance. I can't be mad at him there. He's been great so far. The offense needs to step up, though, now. Now it's a tie series. The Penguins are nothing like you. You have a 99 overall offense. It's time to harass them. It's time to beat them up. It's time to score a goal. Game three, let's head to the PPG Paints Arena. Like, who comes up with these names? Advertisers, that's what, yes. Game three, here in Pittsburgh. Even series, it's a best of five now. Ah. Uh, Reminiscent of the 2020 Stanley Cup bubble first buy in what what was it called? The the first it wasn't the first round, it was the round prior. What do they call those? I forgot what they call uh, what do they call it's been so long, man. We've been stuck in a pandemic for it's been so many years. It's been 84 years. And after 20 minutes, it's going to be a 0-0 contest. Goalies are good so far. Power play, Pittsburgh. Oh, the refs are gifting them this one. Come on! Refs! Stop refing! Refs! Stop it! Stop it! Stop taking penalties, Montreal. You should know better. But Claude Giroux, yes. You know you want to beat Pittsburgh, Claude. All those years in Philly, you want to beat them up. Power play, Montreal. This would be huge! And we can't score there. one nothing Montreal. Shots are 22 to 19 in Pittsburgh's favor. Heading into the third. I am scared. And Arvidsson is going to tie it up immediately. Power play Montreal. It's Ryan O'Reilly on the doorstep. Pittsburgh power play. We kill it off. Power play Montreal again. Oh my god, it's a ref game. Oh, Anthony Duclair ties it. Oh, Montreal. You need to clutch up. You need to clutch up right now. Yes, Sean Farrell! Five minutes left! Come on, end it! End it! End it, please! Yes, we can. Yes, we can! A four-goal third period. But the Canadians do come out on top. Your first star, Victor Arvidsson with two points. Caden Primo. Woo! Another good game from him. Only two goals against. He has been quite good for us. Now, this is really the postseason for Caden to prove to me if he is the future goaltender of this team. And there's Caden Gooley. Caden Gooley recovering from a groin injury, which is... I respect him for that. Ouch. Hajik. Yeah, let's take out Hajik. Hajik, it's time for Caden Gooley to come back. It's time. 85 overall. He's a truck. That's what he is. Let me do... Actually, I mean, Norlinder hasn't been... He hasn't been great. So, Norlinder, you're going to go down there. Uh, Ghoulie's going to go on to the second pairing. I mean, he has two points here. Do I want to do Romanov and Ghoulie? Actually, I want to do that. I want to do Ghoulie and Nemitz. They're going to lose the the plus there. I want to go into uh, Nemitz and Ghoulie. I, I feel like that could be a defensive pairing in the future. Game four... Chance to take a big series lead, or will the Pittsburgh Penguins make this a best of three? Game one. No, game five. <laughs> game four. I can't I can't count. Denton Heinen's gonna gonna open the scoring for the Penguins. Caden Primo, after all that love, you're gonna do that to me. It's your time to prove that you are the heir apparent to carry price. Or we just draft something else because goalies are what are they? They're voodoo. Three minutes left in the first tier. We will be blanked. In the first 20 minutes of this game, Pittsburgh has all the momentum here. Second period underway. Come on, Montreal. Where's Mitchkov? Where's Cole Caulfield? Don't tell me Tristan Jari shutting us down. Don't tell me that. Don't tell me Matthew Dumba is shutting us down. Are you kidding me? Boys. Boys. One goal. Come on. Step up. Anyone, a 99 overall offense and you're going to get bled. If you get shut out in this game, everybody's getting slapped upside the head. And, and I'm going to come down as GM into the locker room and slap you up both sides the heads. You don't get to get goalie by Tristan Jari. Not with the 99 overall offense. No. No siree. Third period power play. Come on. Munch oh, and they're going to And that was it. That was our opportunity. 
and the Pittsburgh Penguins have a lead which feels insert it just it just doesn't feel oh Claude Giroux wait hold on hold on hold on Di Pietro is in net why is Di Pietro in net oh oh for oh man are you telling me Michael Di Pietro so did Tristan Jari get hurt did Tristan Jari get hurt Tell me Tristan Jari got hurt. Tell me he got... No, I mean, that's still a rough game. To lo you can't lose that game. You tie it up. You can't. You cannot. Just blow it immediately. Caden, I know you've been great for us all round. You need to be better. Okay, the Pittsburgh Penguins. No, that's not what I wanted to check. The Pittsburgh Penguins. Did they lose Tristan Jari? Yes, they did. Unable to play. Pending evaluation. Goodies out. Good riddance. He blanked us for 27 straight saves. Uh, I wouldn't be saying that if... <laughs> I wouldn't be praising an injury if this was a real game, okay? <laughs> that would be... It would be very sadistic. It would be very sad. Game number five. We're all evened up. It is a best of three. You're telling me the 43, 36, and 6 Pittsburgh Penguins are, are, playing, are, are playing up to you, Montreal. You are so damn good Montreal we're too good okay let's head here you know what I, I'm gonna change up the defensive pairings again I just man I'm scared I'm scared I do not want if we lose a series against Pittsburgh I I don't know what to tell you we're bound to lose a really terrible series one of these days and it's probably this one <laughs> I know I'm getting real pessimistic here and it's a brand new series but most likely Y y to win this series, you're going to have to win Game 5. Game 5 is the most important game of this series now. Here we go. Game 5. Stanley Cup playoffs. Round 1. Here we go. There you go. Matthew Mitchkov has been quiet all series. And Sydney. Man, there's Sidney Crossy. Okay. You can't ever count the Penguins out if Sidney Crosby's playing for them. You just can't. And the... Oh my dear, the refs! It's ref job 2025! What is this? The Montreal screw job. Screw job? <laughs> I can't speak right now, I'm losing it. Come on. Montreal, guys! There you go, Sean Farrell ties the game. D Don't tell me D. Pietro is so good. Don't tell me that. Power play Montreal. Uh, power play Montreal. Hmm. Mm mm mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. This is not good enough. This is not a good enough performance with the team that I've built and the season that we had. If this if this team can't go more than one round, then it's EA Voodoo. Okay, this is a great team. A fantastic team. It's time to step up right now. You build yourself in these moments. People remember you for these moments specifically. Me, GM Thumbs, Anthony Duclair. Okay. Leave it to Anthony Duclair. And Nimitz! There you go! Ties the game! Oh no. Are we getting overtime? Oh my god, we are. Overtime in the most important game of the series. Well, if it's anything like it last overtime, we're gonna have to fight for every inch of the ice. Radulov sends it up for Mitchkov. Mitchkov has some room! Nick Suzuki! The Montreal Canadiens have the lead! A perfect play to start things out. Immediately, six seconds into overtime, the Pittsburgh Penguins are defeated here. 4-3. Farrell with the overtime winner. Oh, I have to. Are you kidding? I have to look at that again. Not the EA replays. I want to look at that. Oh, what a perfect. No, no, no. You have to go all the way back to this absolute godsend of a pass. So Nick Suzuki wins a faceoff. Clean as clean can be. Kicks it over to Radulov. Radulov number 67. Pacioretty, suck it. Uh, <laughs> Radulov's gonna just bat you. That's so damn cool. That's so cool. I've never seen such poise from this young defender. He whips it backhand sit past Sidney Crosby, who could have easily, easily stolen it from him. He whips it up to Mitchkov. Mitchkov's gonna, uh, they're gonna stay on side. He gets it over there to Foley, almost high sticks him right in the forehead. Uh, Farrell's gonna cut. He sees it. Farrell over there. Oh, and three guys, four guys converging on two. 
that leaves all of them wide open. Nick Suzuki's going to place it perfectly, perfectly for the rebound. Farrell, Tristan, uh, I mean, Di Pietro, my bad. Di Pietro had no chance there, and the Montreal Canadiens have the series lead once again. What an, what an overtime. That is much appreciated. I didn't expect things to go that way. <laughs> Especially after last game, last overtime. I appreciate that. Stepping up big, that first line, I need to see just that. But can you do that in the slow sim? I don't want overtime again. Game five was the most important game of the series so far. It's time to end things here in Pittsburgh and head back to the second round of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Here we go. Ooh, baby, somebody had to go ahead and flush the toilet. Wouldn't be a three thumbs episode, three thumbs up episode if somebody didn't flush the toilet. First period, Pittsburgh Penguins are going to score. Brock McGinn. Brock McGinn is the goddamn sniper on their team. I do not understand it. Yeah, of course, of course we crap the bed. Of course we crap the bed. Montreal. Are you kidding me? Are you serious, Montreal? This is... This is a bunch of BS. What's the point? Carey Pro okay, Caden Primo with the worst performance I've seen. Romanov and O'Reilly uh, score. It's over. Looks like we're going to get a game seven. We come out flat after all my good speeches. Uh, Mitch Kov, Suzuki. They have done... I have not seen them a whole lot here in Slow Sim. Colin, Bl Colin Blackwell? O'Reilly and Norlinder make it close. I don't... It who cares if a game is close in the Stanley Cup playoffs? Who cares? If you lose, you lose. If you win, guess what? You're the winners! Try winning, Montreal. Game seven. I don't want to lose against Pittsburgh, man. Pittsburgh! Pittsburgh! I don't want to lose against them. They're the, they're the hobgoblin Pittsburgh Penguins now. They're nothing of their former glory. They have one, two... They don't even have Chris Letang. They have Tristan Jari. No, sorry, he's injured. They have Michael DiPietro. No offense, Michael. We have to step up. Step up right now. Mitch Kov, I'm debating putting on... I'm going to put him on the second line. I'm going to put him on the second line. Uh, because I feel like it. Uh, defensive core, man, I don't... They're good, though. Like, we're fine. How is Caden Gooley a... Mo How? Expl okay, you know what? We're doing that, then. Caden Gooley and Simon Nemitz. <sighs> Caden Primo... Carey Price came. You know, I'm going to put Dan Vladder as a backup just in case. Uh, we haven't even gotten to use him here. <laughs> he was our trade deadline acquisition. And we haven't used him. Boys, step up. Caden Primo has given you so much this series. It's time to turn around and give him goal support. Now, he had a really crappy game there. And you know what? If he has a crappy game seven here, we know what kind of goalie he is. He's not the goalie to take us to the Stanley Cup. He won't be the guy. If he's not the guy, then he's not the guy. It's in these moments, as I've said before, you build your reputation. I'll remember this game specifically. Boys, game seven. Show up, shut up, go home. Pick one. Here we go. First period, underway, power... P oh, my dear lord! Stop taking penalties, please! Please! They have eight shots out of the gate. We are playing. We're getting outplayed by the 43-win Pittsburgh goddamn Penguins. The worst team to make it into the Eastern Conference. Remember, Montreal, you were the best team in the East. The best out of Tampa, Florida, Toronto. So many really great teams. Sean Farrell ties it okay. Second period. Matt v. Mitchkov putting him on the second line. Power play goal. Appreciate it. And Ant Anthony Duclair! Power play. Five on three! Oh! oh, oh I don't like this. I can't afford to lose here. Pitt Pittsburgh, you can't. Can you give us a solid here? Please. You don't deserve to win. You don't have anything. You have Sidney Crosby. And Anth apparently Anthony Duclair is... Just Jesus on ice. <laughs> Please don't drop this Montreal. This is the best team we've had. And this potentially might be the... 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 The worst Stanley Cup playoffs we've had so far as GM. 
Third period. Ah, uh, flip a coin, I guess. Flip a coin. Random number generator, are you going to be here for us? Or are you going to cause me misery? <gasps> Joshua Monday Night Raw! The biggest goal of his NHL career! Hold your horses! Wait, seven minutes left. Caden Primo, it's on you! Zach Sanford and the Canadians are headed back to the second round. Was that Joshua Waugh's first playoff goal? Caden Primo shows up big, and GM Thumbs will remember that. Yeah, uh, Caden Primo, you've been pretty bad so far, so step the hell up. Okay. Let's check the stats. Celebrate this victory. Fantastic stuff. I said flip a coin. It could have gone either way there. Wow. So, I mean... What's the problem here? I mean, I guess Brennan Gallagher, that third line, didn't really contribute a whole lot. Uh, yeah, Joshua Watt, their bottom six just kind of crushed ours for some weird reason. Zach Sanford, I know he was a minus two. Those two goals from our fourth lot or fourth and third line in game seven. Joshua Waugh, your first Stanley Cup playoff goal. Remember that one. Very important. Ryan Paling, we're going to do this again. I thought I... I thought we learned. I thought we learned that you were a great third liner. It's time for you to step up and be the guy for once, ever, please. Defensively, yeah. I mean, Romanov and Guli are two most reliable defenders. Like, they're going to throw body. They were minus three, minus four. Not great. Radulov had... He didn't get an assist on that overtime play? Right, no, it was passed. Yeah, no, of you know, he didn't get one, but he definitely set that up. We were going to remember that. I hope you get some offensive points going your way. Simon Nemitz is stepping up. Our first ever draft pick in Montreal is GM. He's been really good for us. Goalies. Yeah, Caden Primo, You, we get that sort of goaltending. We're going to win a Stanley Cup again. Okay. Ooh, what a first round. Didn't expect it to be that stressful. I guess it's the Stanley Cup playoffs. What do you what do you really expect here? It's always going to be stressful, and it's my channel. So, of course, I'm going to be yelling and screaming. Obviously. That's what I do in every Stanley Cup playoffs. <laughs> Our second round opponent. Oh, my God. Again. Again. Okay. It will be the Toronto Maple Leafs. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this one, please leave a like, leave a comment, share this with people who you think may enjoy this sort of thing. I will see you back in the second round. Ciao.